Okay, the splitting method for addition. So what the splitting method is used for is it's another strategy that for for that formal algor algorithm. The formal algorithm is very abstract and many kids, even though they can do it, they don't really understand it. So your students have already learned about the jumping strategy, which is a great mental math strategy. Splitting is, it's great because it's transitional. Yes, it can be used as a mental math strategy, but also can transition them into understanding the more advanced things they're gonna be doing with the algorithm. But let's take a look at this, 63 plus 21. The goal of when you're doing splitting is exactly what the strategy says. You're gonna split the ones off from the 10. So we're gonna go ahead and split the ones here, and we'll go ahead and we'll split the ones there. So now what we have is we have 60 plus 20. We know that 60 plus 20 is 80, right? And three plus one, we'll add our ones up, is four. And our answer is 84. Let's take a look at this next one now. We have 75 plus 14. So 75, 10, and 4, 14. So 70 plus 10 is 80. And then 5 plus 4 is 9. And the answer is 89. Let's take a look at this one, 33 plus 25. We'll split off our ones. 30 and 20 equals 50, and 5 plus 3 equals 8, and the answer is 58. 43 plus 23. Again, we'll split off the ones. 40 and 20 is 60, 3 and 3 is 6, and the answer is 66. Now, all the ones we did up till that point, we're all very easy because all of the ones were always added up to either nine or less. Now we're going to work on problems where we're going to be actually making a new 10. And since it's the splitting strategy, we'll just continue to follow the strategy with the strategy test splitting the 10 from the ones. So we will split off the ones and again 40 plus 20 and that's you know this whole time we've been doing we've had no problems adding up the ones at all. 40 plus 20 is 60. Now let's take, take a look at this. 8 plus 6 we know 8 plus 6 is 14. All right, a 10 has invaded in our space, right? So if it's splitting, what do we need to do? We need to split the 10 off. And we know that 60 and 10 is 70, and plus the 4 is 74. 55 plus 38. We'll split off the ones. And we have 50 plus 30, which equals 80, then 8 plus 5, which equals 13. And again, we want to make sure our 10s are all together and our 1s are together. So we made a 10, so we're just going to shift our 10 over there. And we have 80 plus 10, which is 90. And then 90 plus 3 equals 93. 38 plus 35. Split off our 1s. 30 and 30 is 60. 8 plus 5 is 13. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to shift our 10 over to where it belongs. 16, 10 is 7. 3 is 73.